In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving an equation involving logarithms on both sides, problem type one. And we can see that we do have logarithms on both sides. And to solve, I'm going to need to move one of those logarithms over to the other side. And since there's only one log on the left, I can move the one from the right by subtracting the log base five of x plus one from both sides canceling on the right. So we now have both logarithms on the left-hand side being subtracted and just the one on the right-hand side. From here, I can use the properties of logs that say when I have two logs with the same base being subtracted, I can combine those into a single log with the same base, but being taken by the quotient of the first log, x minus seven, divided by the second log, x plus one. We still have the one on the other side. And now that we have condensed the left-hand side down into a single log, I can convert back to exponential form. That would have a five being raised to the first power equal to what we were taking the logarithm of, which is x minus seven over x plus one. Simplifying that left-hand side would just be five. And I can continue to solve by getting rid of the fraction. Here, multiplying both sides by x plus one would cancel the x plus ones on the right-hand side and leave me five times x plus five after distributing on the left equals x minus seven. Moving the x's to one side, we have four x plus five equals a negative seven. Subtracting the five over to isolate the x, we have four x equals negative 12. We continue to isolate the x by dividing both sides by four, and we have a potential solution of x equals negative three. However, when I substitute that x equals negative three back in for x, I end up taking the log of negative three minus seven, or negative 10, and also, taking the log base five of negative three plus one or negative two with the plus one on the outside. We cannot take logarithms of negative numbers and that's why we wanted to test this solution. It did not work. So even though we correctly found a potential solution, upon testing, it gave us the log of negative numbers. So this would be no solution. 